There's been a big breakthrough in the murder case of veteran CPI leader Govind Pansare. An accused is, has been identified as Samir Gekwar and he's been arrested by Special Task Force in Sangli district of Maharashtra. He was presented before the Kolapur court today and has been sent to seven days police custody. Remember, Pansare was shot at outside his residence by two unknown assailants at his residence in Kolapur. Sahil Joshi is now joining us with more details on that. Sahil, five months after Govind Pansari was shot dead outside his residence, the first breakthrough coming here. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, uh, still police is a bit tight-lipped about it because these are very initial reports. Uh, Kolapur SP will be taking a press conference in a short while. Hmm. Uh, but uh, Pansare's daughter-in-law, Medha Pansare, uh, confirmed us that police has told her that uh, the first arrest has, arrest has been made. Uh, but police still thinks that uh, uh, some more investigation needs to be done. That's why the uh, police custody has been taken from the court. Right. Uh, uh, police has not yet revealed that whether uh, the particular person belongs to any group. Uh, has he been identified with a particular group or not? Uh, but uh, the initial. All right, Sail, I'll uh, just interrupt you there for a bit. Meena Pansare, uh, Govind Pansare's daughter-in-law, is now joining us on the phone line. Uh, Ma'am, if you could tell us uh, what exactly the police has told you about the arrest that has been made in Govind Pansare's case. Uh, yes, that is true. I got the information in the morning mm. and uh, the person was uh, arrested and he was uh, uh, brought before the court. Mm. The court has uh, given seven days uh, police custody. Ma'am, has the police told you anything about uh, who this person who's been arrested exactly is? The only thing I know is his name, that is Samir Gayakwad, and uh, he is 30 years old, and uh, his address is from Sangli. All right. That uh, is uh, near the uh, yes. place uh, from Kolapur. All right, uh, ma'am, are you aware that anybody by this name ever threatened uh, Mr. Govind Pansare in the past? Uh, pardon? Did anybody by this name of Samir Gekwar, who's now been arrested, were there any threats that were issued to Govind Pansare before February when he was shot dead outside his residence? Uh, any threat from uh, this particular person, Samir Gekwar? Are you all aware of any such person? By his name, because he received threats, but I, I don't remember whether uh, uh, any threat was given under this name. I don't remember. All right, uh, you know this action comes five months after Govind Pansare was shot uh, and it comes after you all have put intense pressure on the administration and the police. Uh, are you at least satisfied now that there has been at least some breakthrough in the case? Yes, I'm, uh, I'm uh, satisfied because in six months we have the only mission of um, putting pressure on the investigation system. We have been protesting continuously since six months. And uh, I feel that uh, the police has uh, at least come to some uh, next step and he has arrested hmm. uh, a person, one person. And I hope that they're, they're, uh, the person will be uh, punished. Ma'am, one final question to you. Has the police told you anything about Samir Gekwar's background? Uh, till now, I don't have any information. But I'm trying to meet the authorities, police authorities. I may get some information uh, later. All right, uh, Meena Pansari, many thanks for speaking with India today. Uh, five or rather six months after Govind Pansari was shot dead outside his residence, the police have made the first breakthrough in the case. They have arrested a person by the name of Samir Gekwar. Uh, Govind Pansari's daughter-in-law, when speaking to us, tells us that uh, the police have told them that he's about 30 years of age. He has been produced in the Kolapur court and was uh, arrested in Sangli district of Maharashtra.